I'm Shay Russell for mining.com.au and joining me today is Peter Wright, the Executive Director of Greenwing Resources. Did I get that right? Yeah. Good. I don't have my trusty notepad in front of me and Peter watched me embarrassingly rehearse that three times over and I still <laughs> struggled to get it right. All right, we are coming to you from the RIU Sydney Resources Roundup. Uh, now, Peter, I just had to talk to you today because I believe you have had some very hot news just hit the ASX. I haven't even seen the announcement, so walk me through it. Okay, yeah, well, look, we're, um, we've been drilling a program in Argentina in the Lithium Triangle, mm -hmm. a project called the San Jorge project inclusive of that is the San Francisco Sailor, it's about 2,800 hectares, so we, uh, we've completed our first drilling program of six holes. We've done uh, downhole geophysics and a lot of surface work with that, so completed hole six, we've announced that this morning on the ASX, uh, post that and hopefully over the next fortnight we'll declare an initial resource, which will be a milestone for us, it will pair up perfectly with our resource in Madagascar. Of 62 million tonnes of graphite, we'll have a resource um, from only six holes. We have deliberately drilled in the peripheries of the sailor. We mm -hmm. haven't actually drilled the sailor, which is the most respective part of the, of the project. Um, so yeah, we're, we're looking to go into hiatus now for a couple of months. There's not a lot of merit in drilling at 4,000 metres in Argentina in winter. <laughs> It's yes. snow and access roads. Why uh, make it hard on yourselves? Yeah, well, we, we tried it last year and it just wasn't that efficient. Yeah. And um, so we're looking to come back and drill a second program, have drills there at the end of August and start in September. Now, for everybody listening, uh, Peter used a lot of technical terms to describe his sailor that they're working on, but you didn't mention the commodity that you're looking for. That is Sorry, lithium. It's, it's lithium. It's, it's in the lithium triangle. It's a prolific jurisdiction for lithium. There are a lot of... Um, very high profile companies there with enormous market caps. Um, you know, we're stepping through methodically the project. We did the surface work, we've done TM surveys, we've just done an additional TM survey and passive geoseismic work. Um, we're strongly the view that the resource extends out materially to the west. Uh, we've been lucky enough to have that program run by a gentleman called Murray Brooker, who's mm -hmm. you know, arguably um, one of the best geologists you, you could get hold of for such a program globally. Um, yeah, so we're very happy with where we've got to. Yeah, you guys are operating by stealth. Uh, you've got a project in the lithium triangle. You're just quietly drilling on the edges of your sailor and yes. slowly proving up what's yeah. looking to be a really impressive deposit. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I heard you say within two weeks you'll be looking at a, was it a maiden resource? It'll be an initial mineral resource oh, estimate. Initial mi estimate, initial mineral re resource estimate. Very important for the ASX. Yes. Uh, and also to this will complement uh, your Madagascar project, which yes. is graphite, correct. not lithium. No. Let's just quickly touch on that while we've got time. Yeah, of course. Well, we, we built that project over 2018. We operated, uh, sorry, 2016, 2017. We operated 2019, 2020. We shut down just ahead of COVID. Um, we had a long range weather forecast. We were going to get a monsoon season, which didn't actually eventuate. But by the time we were shut down on care and maintenance, COVID happened. So uh, we had some, some luck there. Um, we mined there for two years. We produced everything from super jumbo concentrates through to fine flake graphite. Uh, we sold into all major markets. We qualified into the EU um, and the States and sold into there. But yeah, the last few years, the overwhelming focus has, has been at San Jorge. Well, uh, as you said today, there's good news coming out of San Jorge and even more good news to come in a couple of weeks. Yeah, uh, so let's look forward for investors now. You've just very carefully said there'll be a quiet winter period, yes. which I think makes perfect sense. Uh, what can we expect towards the end of the year from Greenwood? Well, look, we will um, yeah, we will need funding to take the project forward. We're pretty reluctant for that funding to be equity. Mm -hmm. um, we're, we're provisioned out until that time. Um, yeah, there'll be further studies. Um, we'll publish the work from the TM survey that we're doing now. We're strongly of the view that, yes, whilst the sailor is the most prospective part of the project, that the resource actually extends materially out to the west yep. under cover. It's pretty heavily bound on the east. There's mm -hmm. a mountain range there. So we'll finalise that. We're keeping most of the technical staff employed. Um, we don't want to lose that intellectual capital. A. No. Yeah, there's a lot of work to do on the data that 
that we have, you know, it's not just the drilling, it's the downhole geophysics, it's the porosity, it's everything. Yeah, it's one thing to get on site and, you know, take out all the samples, that's a fun part, yeah. but then the actual work begins, yeah. the geoscience begins when you get Correct. it back to the lab. Yeah, and so far, you know, the porosities have come back exceptionally strong, which we're really happy with. You know, without porosity, you basically don't have a project if you can't extract and pump the solution to surface. So we're very happy with that. You know, we're pretty happy with the grade. We think the grade will go up in the sailor. Um, we've tabled all the grades so far. You know, there's some potassium there as well, which you can make potash from as a useful byproduct. So you know, notwithstanding a difficult market and a depressed share price, at least as we see it, uh, we're very happy operationally where, where we've got to. Yeah, I, I love how you guys are operating. Operate by stealth, just do the work and the results will speak for themselves. Ultimately, yeah. yeah. That, that's what we all tell ourselves anyway. Yeah, no, that's right. All right, Pete. go, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Peter, it's been a great conversation. Uh, thank you very much for letting me sit here in this booth and getting oh, off my feet. Thanks for your time again, <laughs> My pleasure, it was good talking to you. Likewise.